Recognizes a gentleman from California, Mr. Garamendi. Uh, thank you. I'd, my colleague from Connecticut talked about cutting a sub. Uh, we make choices here, as you do at the Department of Defense also. Uh, Mr. Secretary, on December 9th, 2022, you gave a speech where you said, nuclear deterrence isn't just a numbers game, and, th and that thinking can spur an arms race. You stress the importance of working to reduce the global role of nuclear weapons, which we just heard from our colleague, and I happen to agree. For years, I've questioned the viability and the premise of the Sentinel program. In December, the Department of Defense announced that the ever-escalating cost of the Sentinel program, now estimated that at least $137 billion, had breached the critical non recurrent limit, and that by law, the program must be terminated unless you, Mr. Secretary, certify that the program is, one, essential to national security, two, that there are no alternatives to the program, three, that the new cost estimates are reasonable, and four, that the program is a higher priority than programs whose funding must be reduced. Am I correct in saying that you are aware of your task that lies ahead? I am, sir. I'm pleased to hear that, because even without the required analysis by law that the Sentinel program, far too many Pentagon leaders have said, and I quote, the Sentinel will be funded, will make the trades. Mr. Secretary, can you assure us that you will require that a truly fulsome and critical analysis of the Sentinel program will be made and that the alternatives, for example, a submarine, will not be funded so that the Sentinel program can go ahead? I can assure you that uh, we will um, conduct a thorough analysis uh, in accordance with the uh, Nunn-McCurdy uh, Act responsibilities and the responsibilities that you've outlined uh, uh, um, as well. So. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. I believe you have until sometime in July to make that decision, and along the course in early May or late May, you will... General Brown, provide to the committees the analysis required by law. Is that correct? We will. We'll, we'll support the timeline to, to uh, enable the Secretary to uh, uh, make his uh, determination. Uh, in your opening remarks, General Brown, you said that, quote, our investment in nuclear capabilities reflects a judicious balance between advancing cutting-edge technologies and phasing out legacy capabilities. Fourth grade math would indicate that at $700 million a copy, $137 billion can buy you somewhere more than 120 B-21 bombers complete with an ISRO. Or perhaps seven Columbia-class submarines for $137 billion. Choices to be made here. Is an attack submarine important? Is an additional 120 or so B-21 bombers, complete with an LSRO, important? More important than a Sentinel? Can the Minuteman 3 be life extended. And by the way, committee members, why do we consistently write into the NDAA that there must be 400 ICBMs? There's been no analysis to indicate that. And has the Joint Requirements Office Oversight Council actually revisited the military requirements necessary for the nuclear enterprise? Has that been done, General Brown? 
that is part of their task is to continue not just on the nuclear portfolio but uh, across all of our portfolios for um, our joint warfighters. I await that analysis. I yield back.